to give right honorable Joel Senyon to give me the list. I will do that for you, Joel, and I will make sure the president. Two lists. One of missing persons, including John Bosco Chibalama, who the Prime Minister said uh, was arrested and she knows where he is. I've also tabled a list of missing persons uh, of others who are in jail, Olivia Lutai and several others who have been held in jail for over three years. For no offense whatsoever. And that's why yesterday I called it persecution as opposed to prosecution. This is not the first time that we are tabling this list here in Parliament. The missing persons has got 18 people, including John Bosco Chibalama and others. And as I've said, Prime Minister Robin Anabanja knows where they are because she told the country John Bosco Chibalama was arrested. She knows where he is. And we are demanding that she releases him. The people who are in jail, the list we have is of 55. Uh, some have since been released. Uh, because we, we keep following up in court and so on, so some have since been released, who are saying, law produce these lists, and we follow up these matters. So I didn't want anyone to have any excuse. So I brought them again, okay? As we help these people to learn how this process is operating, because if you're new in parliament, if you're new in cabinet, and, and so on, let them accept that they need to be helped, to know that when there are certain documents you require, you go to your boss, the prime minister. She has those lists. Or you can go to the uh, parliament uh, records office, and you can be directed which door, which office that is, and you get those lists. But as we help them to learn the ropes and all of these different processes, I said, let me table another list, a fresh one, okay? Similar to what we have been tabling, so that nobody gets to have an excuse. We continue to demand that these people be released because they don't have any offense they have committed. If they committed any offense, surely three years down the road, you should have produced this evidence in court, but they have not produced any of this evidence in court. They have, I, together with colleague members of parliament, went to the court martial the other day to stand surety for these people because the court martial rejected their parents, their spouses, and other relatives as surety, saying they're not substantial enough. So I told colleague members of parliament, let's go and stand surety for these people. Let's see if court martial will say that even us, we are not substantial enough. And then we shall demand from them to tell us who is substantial enough. If parents, if spouses, if national leaders like ourselves are not substantial sureties, who is substantial enough? So that ruling is going to be given on 15th. We are waiting to see. And um, as we have been hearing, we understand that the court martial is really pressed against the wall. Because now, we came as leaders to stand surety for them. So we understand that they are working to see that they release them because they are pressed against the wall. What excuse are they going to give us? So when some people in government hear that these people are about to be released, they want to jump onto that issue and make it seem like, you know, they are the ones that have made the release happen and that kind of thing. There will always be those excited people. That's okay. But on our end, we said, let there be no excuse whatsoever. Uh, and that's why I have tabled 